Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I am bringing you another video of Destiny 2. Now, I do apologize if you guys were expecting a video any other days that I didn't post, but I Thanksgiving happened, then me and my girlfriend went on a date, and then I just, I didn't make a video for those days, which I don't know why I didn't. I just, I guess it kind of just went over my head, but I do have a video today, and it's going to be for Titans again. So... We're going to be talking about two combinations that are really gross in PvP, which is going to be Insurmountable Skull Fort and Top Tree Soul or Top Tree Shoulder Charge. Now, I know what you're going to tell me. Why are you doing this, Tony? Stop it. Get some help. I know, I know you're going to say that, but listen, listen. I want Titans to have variety. I want them to have all the options open so that when they get destroyed, they have no complaints. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Honestly, this is a fun build to do. It's really gross and toxic. For sure, I feel you. But, I mean, y'all need some options. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, let's look at the subclass first. It's top tree uh, striker, like I said. Basically, magnitude. Gain an additional grenade charge. Increases the duration of grenade effects. You're essentially getting armamentarium for free. Seismic Strike, this is the one we're going to be using the most. After sprinting for a short time, use melee ability to slam shoulder first into your target and release an arc explosion on impact. Aftershocks, damaging enemies with Seismic Strike recharges your grenade. And Fist of Havoc's ground slam attack leaves a damage dealing field in its wake and deals more damage the longer it's in the air. So essentially, this terminal velocity for sure is going to be nasty for area denial because it leaves... Uh, basically explosions in the floor that deal damage like it said and essentially i don't know if you guys know but titans can slam more than once so they can just slam a whole area for like area denial to get like to capture a point or whatever which i don't see a lot of titans use i see them just going for kills but if destiny 2 does start slowing down and become a little bit more objective based this could be really gross for area denial like i said and pretty much seismic strike this is going to be what we're going to be using this is the bread and butter let's look at the exotic which we're going to be pairing that with which is the uninstrumentable skull fort which the armor perk is called transfusion matrix kills with arc melee abilities trigger health regeneration and restore melee energy so this by far has got to be the dumbest shit I've seen in ever, like ever. Like it's just one hit kill and then you can just recharge it and you get me uh, he health from it. So for me, I think this is just the dumbest, I mean like the dumbest combination. This is like, you just do not have to think sometimes. Essentially you get a free one hit kill with he health regeneration an unlimited use if you use it correctly so and the reason i say you use it correctly is because you can fuck it up sometimes so warning i'm gonna give you a warning you're gonna get some hate mail you're gonna get a lot of hatred from this build your people are gonna hate you and i mean like just hate you because uh, i'll show you guys in the screen right now i was actually getting footage for this video and I got hate, like yeah, I got hate. I was uh, some some guy was I don't know if I remember correctly. He said that I fucking sucked or something like that. And like instead of just getting all defensive, I was like, is it because of the build that I'm using? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I know it's toxic, but I'm making a video, so that's for that's for that's for you guy, random guy who got mad. I know I'm sorry, but it's I did want to prove a point. Just this build is just so fucking stupid. It's it's really dumb that you guys have this it's it's just wild to me that Bungie was just like yeah let's just do this and it's okay like it's it's an okay thing because at the end of the day hunters are getting a one-hit kill and I know people are gonna be like I know I know a lot of people are gonna be like nah but hunters have a one-hit kill that can recharge by itself without, a, without an exotic and it's like yeah but like the ease of use of a shoulder charge compared to like me having to not only like land a headshot with my knife but a be able to like hit the trajectory right and then hit the timing because the knife has a delayed effect now like all this shit to get my knife back it's like 
This is literally day and the other one is night. While this one, yeah, you do need an uh, you, need, you do need an exotic to recharge that melee. A shoulder charge is the easiest kill you can probably get. You know how many kills I get with a knife? None. I don't get none. So, you know, just saying. So, after all of this explanation, what would be the ideal build for this web for this uh, build? It's probably gonna be anything on heavy, and then Monte Carlo, obviously. I was using Arantel because people were pissing me off, and I have a really gross uh, combination on my Arantel. But Monte Carlo is gonna be the one you're gonna be using for this because, let's say you do do a shoulder charge that does not activate the the melee regeneration because there are times when that happens essentially if you shoulder charge someone and another friend of yours kills that guy before you kill him for some reason the shoulder charge will activate killing the body even though it's already dead and consuming that but it doesn't give you your like your melee back so monte carlo is going to be a really good one Unless you don't want to use Monte Carlo, then it literally opens up to whatever the fuck you want to use. Because essentially, that's pretty much it. Yeah. You can do, you can do a strength build to like ten. You probably get it in like thirty seconds or something like that. But with Monte Carlo, you'll get it even faster. So like I said, but this is assuming that you don't hit your melees all the time. But the way I was using it, I was using it two playthroughs. I was using it like just shoulder charges, and then I was using shoulder charges with guns and everything. So essentially, you could go all shoulder charge. I've seen people get on the top of the scoreboard with just shoulder charges, or you can go like killing people with guns and then doing a shoulder charge if you see a right opportunity. Essentially, you could do a lot of things with this. Not on that, but when you hit when you hit someone with a shoulder charge and kill them you do get health regen back which is really nice especially when you're fighting a team you see your health going down and you know your health is going to keep going down just run go like go behind some cover run at like run in the wall because you can do that and then just shoulder charge someone for the quick regen ultimately this is this is a really gross build i did not want to make this video but ultimately i was just like fuck it like Let's, let's just do the video. I know people are going to hate me. People are going to call me toxic and all this. But at the end of the day, I don't want to not show you guys each build that you guys have. And this is not oh, this is not a new thing. It's not. My channel is not that big for people to be like, oh my god, you're showing this to the masses. Homie, I have like 200 and something subscribers. It's not that big a deal right now. So, yeah, that's my builds for this video. I'm going to show you guys a little bit more in the background. Or I have been. But ultimately, I think this build's pretty fun. It can be really toxic if you use it in a toxic way, but if you use it the way I just explained where it's you're killing people with guns and using it when you need to, it's very good to have a backup melee that can kill someone. It's re it really is. But a few things you do want to be careful is if you if people know that you have insurmountable skull for and you are shoulder charging a lot, they're going to start to calm down a little more. They're going to start to like they're going to take out their they're long distance weapons and they're gonna try to kill you from a distance so what I would explain or what I would tell you to do is if you know the maps if you know pretty much all the maps in destiny 2 that's probably gonna be your biggest strength because you can bob and weave from map to like from area to area to get closer to them also remember you can use your shoulder charge to like go from one area to another I always see people not doing this do that it's really like the chances of someone sniping you while you shoulder charge to someone else is really low it, it could happen but like i said it's really low there's a lot of things you can do with this build but ultimately you're gonna be toxic you're gonna be an asshole and just know that you're gonna be getting a lot of hate for it but ultimately if you use it like a decent human being i don't see you getting that much hate especially since I said, it's it's kind of like a, a get out of jail free card for me at least because when I was using it kind of like from a distance I would only use it if I needed to and from there I'll get my health regen and then I would still have my melee for anything else so 
that's the build for this i'm probably gonna call it insurmountable charge something like that actually what's The Seismic Skull Fort. That's what I'm going to call it. That just sounds cool. So that's what I'm going to call it. The Seismic Skull Fort, which sounds really cool in my head now. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this build. I know it's going to be a toxic. I know a lot of people are not going to like this build because essentially this is the build that's just really annoying to go. Like, it's really annoying. It, I, I actually hate it myself. But like I said, I wanted to have the Titans to have every opportunity that way. They feel like they have options because they really do have options like they have a lot more options than warlocks or hunters if i'm being honest so yeah titans you guys have so many cool shit coming like or that you guys already have so just look through your stuff see the amount of exotics that you have that are not even garbage at this point so yeah let me know what you guys think let me specifically titans let me know what you guys think uh, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to like tell you guys that you guys have every opportunity to like thrive and you guys are being bitches. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, look at your exotics. Look at all the stuff you have. Make it work. That's what everyone else does. We make something work. So yeah, I would, I'm really curious to think, to hear about what the Titans have to say about all the build videos that I've done because I'm ultimately yeah, I'm trying to like help you guys out because I know that one item mass is gonna get nerfed and it's still gonna be good I'm not saying it's gonna be trash but it's gonna hurt the viability for a lot of Titans because they're not gonna have that that uh over shield and they're not gonna have that old like ape mentality like ape, ape stronger together like they're not gonna have that anymore so with these build videos i'm trying to like show you guys that hey you guys have still have a lot of good cool shit so not only that but you guys might never know you might ne like find a playthrough that you actually really like not this one though please don't make it this one this one's gross but like the next video that i'm gonna do is gonna be a really good video so i will see you guys later let me know what you guys think about the whole video in the comments below don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell notification not only that but thank you everyone for honestly supporting and doing all of that stuff that i just said thank you so much i really appreciate it and other than that we'll see you guys later